Hey creative friends, it's Gwen. I'm back in the studio today and I want to share with you some summer scrapbook inspiration. I have been organizing a lot of my layouts of late. I happen to have all of these pulled out of the albums, so I want to share them with you. I have broken them down by manufacturer and I want to start with Maggie Holmes because I have done a lot of stash busting of her collections throughout 2022 and uh, yeah, made a lot of pages that were summer themed. So I'm going to share those first, starting with this one. This collection is the Sunny Days collection and I happened to overbuy this line and I had so much of it hanging around. So it was all, it's always good to stash bust a little bit, isn't it? Uh, going with a cut file from Cut To You. This one is a title design, love those. And I think, I wanna say actually that some of these pieces were not from that collection, like maybe this XOXO and the sweet, but I know all the papers were. How cute are those little girls swimming in the pool? So that's that one. I have this one, which is a grid design in that same collection. I went with just the plain pattern paper background. This is actually one sheet of pattern paper, even though it does look like it's been framed. That was actually the design of that paper. And I just added my stitching as I normally do, but along the line of the print there. Uh, so yeah, grid design, always a classic really tried to use up some of the bigger pieces in this collection. So this layout actually started with this title piece and then I just built it out around that. Grid designs are great. I really like those as just like a, a go-to design for a layout. And here's another one. This one I did get brave though, and I've added a little bit of mixed media, just some paint splatters. That would be Distress Oxide ink because that's pretty much all I use for mixed media these days. Yeah, in a sort of similar grid style, I wanted to use up these frames. So that was sort of the starting point for this one. Where there are YouTube tutorial videos for these layouts, I will share links to them below. Not all of them will have tutorials, but a lot of them do. So same collection again from Maggie Holmes. I adore these bows. I'm all about them bows and I love them. I love how big they are. The collection also had, or there was a different collection that had, I want to say black and white ones and I used them up in no time and then couldn't find any more. But I do have a couple more of these in my stash. Just use the cut file as a layering piece here. Again, they're all from cut to you and they're always linked below. So that's that one. I love too that this is just kind of an everyday shot. We were on Fraser Island at the time and um, we we're actually just walking back. There's a, a restroom, public restroom, and we were just walking back and that's the view on the way to and from the, the restroom. It's so pretty. So I snapped a quick pic of my daughter. And then this one as well. So another uh, holiday, summer, vacation style scrapbook layout. This one I used scraps of pattern paper and formed again a bit of a grid and then added, can you see the stitching there? That's a really good way to use up pattern papers if you've only got a little bit here and there. You can just punch these out. These are two by two inches, lots of layers um, of the vellum, puffy stickers, lots of little bits and pieces. So that's all the Maggie Holmes. This little stash is mixed collection. So this one here is from Kayser Craft, an Aussie brand. And I really wanted this one to feel light and bright and breezy. I do love this cut file. This one I actually made specifically for this photo. That is the benefit of having your own cut file store. You can make a cut file to suit whatever you want. Uh, yeah, I just love this too. I love that it's sort of fairly simple. This is a bit of a go-to technique, which you will see a little bit throughout this video, where I've used a stencil. Usually it is a sun ray stencil and then added stitching along the lines of the stencil. I like that it kind of makes it neat, more defined and more structured because that's how I like my mixed media, nice and neat. I love these little clouds as well. They are from an Aussie store. There is a lady here in Australia who hand makes these. Aren't they super cute? Really, really cute. Um, so yep, that's that one. 
this one is actually a pebbles collection pebbles ink and i just used the cut file to guide this one this one the cut file is this large piece it's a banner piece with um like banners hanging down and then the whole top section is a floral so i've just cut it out as large as i could to fit my page popped on my landscape photo and then added all the embellishments really really pretty i like to it's a bit different i don't normally cover up the photo this much but there wasn't really much well there wasn't anything in the background so i thought why not i do like the cute little sunglasses too it's nice to create with collections that are um like within your theme like to match the theme it just makes scrapbooking a lot easier i do know that there is some mixed elements on this one as well like this isn't an original uh, maggie holmes bow i know that this is from pebbles but i don't know that it's from this particular collection the hearts too i want to say they are bow bunny i just checked no they're bella boulevard but they're puffy puffy hearts very cute um and this one is a flare by scrap and happy studio so actually and there's some old this is really old crepe paper in the top there so i must have been really stash diving for this one next up is this one this one was created for the scrap room and it was using one of their flavors of the month kits i actually designed cut files for them that they use exclusively for their members and this was one of those cut files and i did grab a couple of kits and i thought you know what why not uh make a couple of layouts with them so this is the one that i did uh, which is on YouTube. I like too that it's a summer layout, but it's got quite a dark background. It's probably not in your traditional summer sort of themed supplies. Like it, it is a little bit, there's florals um, and there is yellow, but yeah, I feel like for me, summer layouts generally don't have dark backgrounds like this one. So I like that it's a bit different. Next up, we have this one from Echo Park. I really loved the colors in this collection. It was, I think, a baby collection. It was sort of sold as a baby collection, but I just loved the colors. I loved the cute icons, and I thought, you know what? We can scrapbook summer with a baby collection, no problem. This next one is from Simple Stories, and you can see that I have gone ahead and used a large cut file and not backed it. I really wanted the white on white look for this one. And then I've just gone ahead and added my embellishment clusters. I have worked with a visual triangle just to keep it nice and simple and balanced. And of course, as always, I've kind of gone with the flow of the cut file. I've let that dictate the design for the page. In hindsight, I think this one would have been even better had I been brave and added a bit of mixed media under here just to kind of give it a bit of a more grounding. It does kind of float for me a little bit. So if I had my time again, I probably would add a, have added a little bit of mixed media underneath there. I actually made this page when I was on holidays. I was away and I took uh, some pre-cut cut files and a bunch of supplies and actually made them on the dining room table of our apartment while we were away. Next up is this one created fairly recently and you can tell because I've actually been brave and I've added some mixed media in there. It was part of a challenge and I just really love the colors in this. I know it doesn't sort of say summer, but to me the colors and the florals and of course the picture scream summer. So I'm loving that. Next up, we have this one, which is from Pink Fresh Studio. I love the colors in this. I think they are so soft and pretty. I love the darker, um, like teal with the baby blue and the pink. Love it. And I love this photo too. It's one of my favorite photos of my daughter and I. Beautiful big rainbow to anchor it all. And uh, yeah, a really pretty page. This giant pile is actually all Cocoa Vanilla Studios. I love their supplies. I use them so much. And of course, now there's a bunch of summer layouts that I want to share. Okay, so this one's first. I love this one. I love the colors in this collection. I want to say it's called Sun Kissed and it's just happy, right? How happy is that? This cut file is actually a design that was made for Traveler's Notebooks. See how it's quite rectangular? But they make great titles. 
So I have used um, quite a few of those designs for the Traveler's Notebooks on my 12 by 12 layouts. I love these cute little photos. We were just out exploring one day. Next up we have this one. I think this one's from Daydream and it was just all about sunshine and happiness. My little daughter taken the photo taken quite some time ago. Really love the circle elements and how that's sort of a grid design, but with circles. That was really a fun way to use up some of the paper strips that I had left over. This one is using an older collection from Coco called Endless Summer. So if you have any of that in your stash, this could be a good one to the scrap lift. Um, and the cut file is Lazy Summer Day. So cut out nice and large. I like that you only have to back these middle summer letters so it doesn't take very long. And then I've created some sun rays with some paper scraps. I think this is actually a cut file too, I'm pretty sure. Um, it was a background cut file. So you can just cut that out. Normally you would use the bits that are um, cut out, like these lines, you would use that as the cut file, but I've used the inside parts. So that's that one. More from the Sun Kiss collection. This collection is full of super bright, happy colors. And I've gone all in with a, a lovely sun ray, like a sunburst and then summer vibes as my title. I really love this photo too. See how there's no one in it except for my daughter and my husband? Yeah, I love that. Um, really like the little palm trees too. Just really add to the feel of the layout. Like it feels very summery, doesn't it, this one? More sun-kissed. This one, I did the sort of similar thing with the sun rays, but I've used a smaller stencil. And you can see here that I've actually contained it. Because the stencil didn't run all the way across the edge of the page, it stopped here. I actually decided to create a frame and use that as part of the design for the page. So you'll see I've got like the frame, this frame here is on purpose, and then my photo framed here. And then a lovely big title, lots of embellishments. I love these buttons. I love the puffy stickers, super puffy. Um, and that's um, that was taken on that same trip to Fraser Island. Next up is this layout. It's got a big background design with some fun clouds and a rainbow. I think this is the happiness collection. Um, and I don't do this a lot, but I did journal just a little bit on the front of this one using, I've got a, a, an old fashioned typewriter. So it's actually proper typewriter. Um, it's an old Ovaletti that my husband bought me many years ago and I love it, but I don't use it nearly enough. Often I'll um, journal on the back, but I think this was just um, pretty generic. I'm, uh, I'm very aware that I share so much online, so I try not to share too much personal stuff on the front. I journal on the back, but for this one, obviously I did add a little bit. I really like the florals in this line too. Really nice to add for any kind of summer photo. Next up is this layout. I have actually only just created this one. Uh, it's using the current cut of the month design and it's called Good Things Ahead. And I've done that same or similar technique with the sunburst. I didn't frame it this time. I've just made sure when I was adding my stitching that I added the stitching so that it was sort of staggered, that they weren't all coming out at the same point. They were kind of coming out at different points. And instead of adding it, normally I would add it along the line of each sun ray, but I was in a bit of a hurry and I thought if I add just one in the center of each sun ray, I have to do less stitching. And that worked. I actually really like that. I like the extra lines that it creates. It's a nice way to have it in a background, Nice, a nice addition for a background. This next share is with Endless Summer. So it's a few years old now. I don't mind this sticker. I've just added that to cover up the registration on my car. Um, I was super inspired for this page to make a bit of a like a sky and ground. I just wanted to extend the photo here. So you'll see that's why that's sort of sitting there. And then we've got three quarters worth of the sky. I really love the clouds in this line. They were super cute, super fun to work with. And then just added my clusters. So some florals, some circular icons. I didn't want it to look very blocky. I wanted to go with the um, loops in the clouds, the circle feel that those clouds have. 
So I've mirrored that with the florals and the, the die cut elements. I like to this like combination of lots of alphas to make the title. That was really fun. Next up, we have Good Time Summer Fine. This one's using the collection Daydream. And I really wanted to go with soft muted tones. Uh, just let the title be the feature, added my photo, and then a couple of embellishment clusters to balance things out. I like the little butterflies as well. Aren't they cute? This one is actually, again, a bit of a change up in that it's a darker background. I really like it though. I like the gray with the blue floral. I like to this pattern background. It's a really great way to sort of anchor embellishments and photos. And once I had placed it, I, so I backed it, I added some stitching and then I centered it on the layout. And then I used that as the frame. I didn't, I made sure that none of the embellishments extended out past the, the point of um, the cut file. And I really like how that sort of keeps everything nice and put together. I really like the black and white photo too with um, these kind of like cool tones, really pretty. Next up we have this one. Again, I've used my tried and true mask technique. I did, however, spray a little bit of um, mist first and then applied the mask on top and then um, masked off this extra section. And that's why you can see, see here that it's like um, white or cream cardstock and then one layer of the mist and then a double layer of the mist. That's because I've done it in sort of two layers. And I love how adding the stitching just kind of defines everything, makes it really stand out. I love too how I've kind of used the point of the stencil and then spread the layout out from there. So all of the design elements come out from that point. It's a really easy way to kind of come up with an idea, a plan for your page. Next up, we have this bright and beautiful one. I've gone all in with the pinks. I've used my uh, dies for this, my Sizzix dies. I had one that had a flower in three sizes and I thought, you know what, let's just cut out a bunch of those, layer them up and create a bit of a background photo mat. Uh, for those. I love that. I would like to do this again actually but do it more um, with a, like an ombre effect or with maybe rainbow colors rather than just out of the same pattern paper. This is all that same pattern paper. Very fun though. Really really like that. More sun rays for you. So same again the yellow bright yellow um, stencil and then that stitching. I really like that technique. You know what too I want to say here that just because you're making a lot of pages doesn't mean you have to come up with a brand new idea every layout. Like I'm actually totally fine with this same technique across lots of my pages. I love the look of it. I know it works. So why invent something new, right? And it kind of, it then ends up being a bit of a signature style for you. It's something that kind of becomes part of your process. And um, I, I think too, it also helps your pages feel more cohesive because when you're looking, like not your pages, sorry, your albums, because when you're looking through them, you do see sort of some common themes. Yeah, anyway, that's my thoughts on that. I don't mind using techniques over and over again. Tried and true, I say. Here's another one that's more in the soft and dreamy tones, those um, cooler tones with the gray and blue and then I've warmed it up by adding in a little bit of peach really like that I felt that it really worked with my photo as well actually and I just love I love the sunglasses and the palm tree and it's just like yep yeah, good days good days here's another one using the sun kissed collection and again my sunburst so there's definitely a theme here um, yellow and pink I've gone with contrasting thread this time, added my floral clusters, and then that leads the eye across the page and then to the title. I do like this summer sun and fun. It's really, really cute. I love the bright colors in the photos. I couldn't help but pull out a really bright collection for this share. Next up, I'm going with something a little more muted. I recall when I made this page, it was using really old stash and I didn't have any pattern paper. So I thought, you know what, let's make my own background. This is a cut file and then I've added watercolors in sort of a bit of a blue and green theme. 
and then added my embellishments on top. Another idea using Endless Summer Collection, I have used a green sunburst for this one and then added some pink mixed media over the top. I must have been feeling very brave this day. Um, more of those cute clouds too from Charm Creations. A sweet little floral and then a title, a uh, cup file title. So this one's a, a pretty simple page that you could put together pretty quickly, especially once you've cut out and backed your title, added your photo, and then you can just have your three points of embellishment clusters to make up the design. Another share from Endless Summer, and I've used a similar but different cut file for this one with the clouds and the sunshines. Really loving the soft summery tones. This ombre paper is divine. And then just, yeah, really simple title at the bottom and then filled it up with the cut file, added my landscape photo and then my uh, embellishment clusters. How cute is this bow? It's like a paper bow. That one's a die cut. Um, you know, like one you run through the Sizzix machine. Yeah, super cute. Next up, we have this share using happiness. This one was a challenge in that I had to use a fussy cut out sheet. You know those sheets that you get with the fussy cut icons? Um, so it started with these sort of two paper strips and then these elements here that were fussy cut tags. And I just thought, you know what, let's cut out a bunch of banner pieces, layer them up in my background and just create some lovely layers. And that's what we've ended up with. I really like this one. I think it's a good way to use cut files and not have to back them. And you can just cut them all out of the one pattern paper. And then you've got a bunch of pieces that you can layer up this way and then add your photo to. Next up, uh, we're doing the rainbow thing again. How pretty is this though? I really love the little raindrops in the background and then the rainbow. And then I've anchored all of my embellishments along the bottom of the rainbow there. I like to the pastel uh, tones, really, really pretty, hey. I have a couple more to share. This one is Endless Summer again, and I have gone with some really cute kites for this one. This background paper did inspire the page, and I thought, you know what, let's make a giant sky, add some really pretty kites to it, some butterflies, and um, yeah, cool it done. This one came together pretty quickly as well. I do love the flow. I love the flow of this page too, really fun. I have documented this photo again. I do that sometimes. I, I document the same photo more than once because I love them so much. And I do just get a lot of joy out of the making. For me, it is about documenting, but it's also about just making pretty things. So I wanted to pull out the beautiful, soft, warm greens and uh, orange from the sunset. And I feel like the papers for this one really match the photos super well. I fussy cut out a bunch of florals, added a big title, One Big Adventure. And then how fun is this? So see that, that's puff, they're puffy stickers. So it makes it One Big Adventure with you. And then I've added stitching over the top of them. I just love that. It kind of makes them look even more puffy because the stitching, sort of the way that the stitching sits into the alphas. Really loving the green too in the background, which is a bit different. So I think it just, because it really ties everything together really beautifully. And that's the thing, isn't it? You can make any color work in the right situation, yeah? And then one more, lucky last. So here's the last one. I've gone with a lovely landscape photo, which I have trimmed a little bit. It is not quite four inches. And I feel like that makes it feel longer, which is really nice because you've got the, the lines of the, the beach there in the background. Uh, cut file is called Fun Plus Sun. Uh, really love just how it's got sort of like a balanced feel to it. Pretty simple to put together too, adding in my visual triangle and then that's come together really fast. So there you have it, 35 ideas for a scrapbooking summer. Now, if you have a bunch of Christmas photos that you need to document, I have a video for that as well, 30 ideas for documenting Christmas. I will leave that in a link for you right here and I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, bye.